The last 24 hours have been quite a thing. I have to tell you a story about what's in this box. Now, this is a, was started good. I got a donation from a friend and this book. 900 pictures. Heavy book. Good enough to short ski this book. But something you don't know and you're going to know is the first time ever I lost a pair of keys. Mine. Now, I don't know where I lost. I've been looking for it. But, but why I'm here? Oh, here's the story. You've got the last, I was once one go bum 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 in the background here. When I got home, I kind of wasn't in a hurry. I was ready to go to the bathroom. To my surprise, when I'm outside the door, I had misplaced my keys. I usually misplace my stuff. I usually find my stuff. I went looking for it ever, um, an accident. Yeah. You have to go some, uh, go to some, <clears throat> you know, go to the boys' room, and you're ready to, uh, <clears throat> any second. One pen's leg. Oh, God. That thing happened. Well, I finally got dealt with that. I got myself in. I went upstairs. You know, but, and I sat down, looked through the book, I looked through the box here. I was going to do a live, open this up, but the dream had, so I waited. So I went to see my man lady, Miss Dillon, the family hotel. Well, I told her that I lost my keys. Well, I can do nothing about it. I am the only one here, and everybody's gone. She wants a hotel, and I bought a popper. She said, okay, I'll come back later. 12 o'clock in the night, I came back with another guy there. I said, sorry, I cannot have nothing to do. So I head back home. I said, coming up, trying to lay in the hallway, Two next to the neighbor wanted to call 911 because they didn't believe this is my place. So I have to leave. I left this by the door with the book and headed to Main Street to do some bottle click. Yes, middle of the night. Really, I do that. So as I sit down getting my cans ready, guess what? Every day I want three muffins and two hot drinks. From McDonald's. Well, I had my last muffin, and I was sitting on Main Street, and the foxes around here, are, they are fearless. One came up, grabbed my body between my knees, and took off with my muffin. Yes, the foxes around here like McDonald's muffins. <sighs> yeah, also, do you know when they climb on things and they, uh, how do, I wish I had the picture. It was a cup there. One fox jump on this cup, and you know how love to scent things. Perfectly aimed. Oh, and then, you know, I got a rehearsed by a name, you know, saying, You homosexual? I'm like, of course I am. You homosexual? I don't, I, or I, I'm going to like, okay, nighttime at this time. And I thought, and besides, lately it's been like BC cold, chilly cold. Anybody in my family know BC Falls are very, very cold. And I'm thinking the BC cold weather coming up here. So I, there and then, I went to the homeless center, explained what happened. They got me a gym mat on the floor, and I tried to sleep. Now, by this time, I missed my insulin. Now, I but my man knows I'm on insulin and pills for my insulin, for my diabetes, mom. And 
Okay. In the morning, I woke up, had breakfast. Oh, I never drink the coffee over there. It's just like the oldest coffee in the fancy machine tastes like shit. Can't even hardly drink it. The egg, um, whatever they call it, it was instant eggs. I look like, uh, taste like they put cheese whiz and those really awful sausage peps, more often than McDonald's. And the hash brown, that, you know, instant hash brown would look like some mashed potatoes to mix it. Nice season, good, but I wasn't. So I head over to McDonald's. On the way over to McDonald's, I went back in. Well, Mr. Young Dollar was there. Well, I cannot do nothing for you. She's going to be uh, on day off. And we are closed tomorrow. As you know, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes. This is the, what I got back from my own Lena and her daughter. But we cannot do anything. Go find the keys. Go find. I beam look over, like spend a half of the night, most of the morning, and then I realize I have to go up and get to the hospital and get some insulin. Because I don't carry my insulin around with me. Especially during the winter time. Anybody who knows living with insulin in the winter time is freeze in your pocket. So went there and explained. The doctor was amazed that my land uh, lady did this on me. So he, he got the, um, you know, he locked me. Unlocked my door, but there was a problem. Once he got me insulin, I realized I don't have the outside key. So I have to wait until the taxi driver let me in to get in here today. Yes, if you have a man lady like that, get rid of her. I thought she knows, I thought my sister was told her that I'm like, you know, I have to have my insulin. You know, Miss Two Insulin, like, um, you know, I went to the hospital and got my insulin, and I'm going to take my insulin. You know, two pounds. I saw you before. And you, you know, these these freeze very easily here in the Yukon. Outside the park and inside the park. I'm I'm trying to look for a nice jack or something for the diabetic to carry around with the needles. So I got here, I missed the door open. Well I sit, went back there, have I missed lunch. The coffee. I had to put Full sweeteners in too to eat it, to drink it, and had a ham and cheese sandwich. Me and one of the names go, no, 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 but I thank God they, they helped me last night. Now, this is a, a, a live message for my worker, too. I'm going to tell her, tell them to watch this video because Miss Daly sat there. I, for the first time, I feel like a little kid looking at her. And I was honest. I lost my key, Miss Daly. Since when a landlady a fuse, you know, it didn't uh, tell me to take the key, open it up, come back. No, I have to wait. She got off at 10, so that's why I went over there at 12. And she's taking her day off today. But her daughter, you know, been here and she knows me. Yeah, her daughter has issues and bitching about me. The demons. I just can't understand. And also, it's a pr proof they are here for the weed. I don't care what they're listening and so forth. 
if you didn't care about the people you went into and what you know it's my first time i actually lost keys mom yeah where's my keys and you everybody know i never lose my keys and my well i misplaced my wallet a few times but i ain't forget it misplaced my cell phone once but i didn't know until i sat down there it is on the bank at, at the uh, walmart but no now i have a problem they invited me for ham over there tomorrow for thanking i can't leave here because then i'll be locked out thank god for the locksmith the undone uh, undid this i was thinking slightly best in that in there for me this is the lowest what mid daily ever got denying me answering because i lost my key i may find him but if i do it turns the spell part no 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 i cannot have the spell please that means a little bit out of my pocket, I'll have to get the blacksmith to make me two spell keys. Not yet, but which which of my two friends who hopefully listen to this jail at her because you know, according to the housing act, then P, uh, members, landladies should not do it, especially when you are a diabetic and most of the pills that I take for my panic attacks and so forth and so forth my insulin and my hormones are sitting here overnight. Now, I thought my social worker, my last two social workers told her that I'm a diabetic. I need to be here a certain time in the morning and the even time to take my insulin. You know, walking up with uh, the pens, sleeping overnight, miserable headache, didn't get it, just like, you hear the fan? Well, the room they put me cut the quiet room. And the fans are noisy. Then if you go to the men bathroom and it's quiet. Check out time at nine o'clock when the cleans are came. But still, there really there wasn't a fight out in the hallway, someone threw an apple to the yeah, apples. And one of the ladies got kicked out. Still a dangerous. Who knows you would be attacked by a, an ex lover who hates you. That's what the story was. Yep. That was my last every two hours. Well, I finally took a bath because I am not going in any shower, especially half a well, quarter of the days that hate me. You know, early in you know, the middle of the night. Homosexual, you're a hell. Yes, I am a homosexual. Go, go shoot, shoot, shoot with the girlfriend. And this is the one of the ones who usually call me names. If you want your homo milk, don't ask a homosexual. No, I think this name was using the, uh, we are homo sapien. And I think we are homosexual. You know, male and female. I think that's what the meaning is. Now they're throwing useless meaning to me and telling me to stop the being one. So that means I have to go and um, become a fully. Oh, God. So I survived without panicking. Well, I was panicking half the time. But I was going to go to sleep. By it's six or two right now. I, my evening Mexican would, you know, help me. You know, missing your Mexican, 
you know, they don't have a nurse over there. I wish they have a nurse over there. So when people like me get locked out, at least they could give me some insight. Now, what's in the box? Well, if you could guess what type of box this is, I, I you know, I have some of my getting with this, some nice winter boots and nasty. Do you want winter boots? No, I could take this. And the book. Yes, I am planning to do it. So don't bitch about it. Now I gotta first gotta find what the hell with the peen is. Yes, folks, this is FP. Now, anybody like me on the keyboard, on um, the keyboard. What, what, what? No, I, di I didn't go shoot. I don't know what's going on. Now, peen. P-R-E-E-M. What are they? What are these furry balls? They, you, you, the salmon becoming green and red. Now, if the salmon is that stupid to figure this pom-pom ball, it's a fish egg, because they do eat their own. Fishing people. But I found my favorite lure. The red dot. The I had the smaller ones back in the series. I got the most fish ones. I reckon there. Get the small one. Yeah. But also remember this Robert? Yeah, we use a fish with these things. Got into different sizes. Look like a corner of a frog or a turtle back. Man, look at the genie. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what this guy was doing. Damn this. Two floats. I don't know what's kind of made, you know. A lot of fish and stuff. Yeah. And it was all the same. It's all the same in the hallway, putting this all together. You know. String. For the early heavy duty fishing rods. You know. We use this, this is for tuna. If it's any bigger, it's one, one thing I'm noticing. Remember in the old days, every house had a ladder? The first thought of me is, is grabbing a ladder, climbing in the back here to go through this door. There's no ladders to bowls in people's backyards anymore. And I wish I had a bigger one so I could do Batman. This won't hurt my weight. No, 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 no. You know, it, it's water. A lot of these are copper and, and really needs to be shined up. <sighs> Got some fish and, and, and so forth. Well, yeah, I don't have to go buy some when I get to the retirement age pretty soon. So I could fish for free. I hope my Christian friend. Remember this one? Yeah, Dad used to have this one. The uh, five of uh, diamonds. God, that brings back a lot of money, sir. <laughs> but here's one. Do that look like a squid? 
And I got this cracky one. I do have a, f a couple flies in here. Uh, yeah. This one would be, it looked like a squid. Metal piece. And I guess it goes like this. Now, if I could make money designing fish rules, good old Dean's was one pong hook. Here's the small one. Oh, this one got a something on it. Ha! Ah, I may find the original places. Yes. Here's the fish. What you do is you put bait in bait and slip, but it's a slit into here through the mouth so it could move naturally in with the river coins. Fly. <coughs> 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 Here's a sisu thumb thingy. I don't know what that is for. I guess for. Then I got this one. Now, the fish bite on this, and I have a metal rod. Now, this is a nice kid proof one because the kid can, yeah, kind of protect. Never seen one. It's copper. So I'm going to get some copper and shine it up. These things always look good, but this is the first one I ever found like this. The fall cry from, do I have it here? I should put that one in here. I don't know if that's Never thought it, thought it now. Please excuse me. Yeah, once I'm gonna I think I'll show you guys uh, in my train soap um, dispenser the ad on the fish hook. Now I have two fishing rods, a left hand and a right hand of the same rod. But I'm going to type up. Steam, folks. And I've got like two of these POW nymphs. That old date. Can be the uh, worst than fish cheese with. And then I have bullets. Now, I have to send this one to an expert to get someone to put Bob on it. And the other side, knit to it. Well, you because then we watch the man with the golden gun. He names his bullets, so I'm naming this Bob, little Bob. And I do have three or three, big Bob. You never watch my videos. But I did send him today the fuck you song by Glenn Lee. Beehive, whatever. And then we got the classic ones. You know. I don't know these things. Uh, it's like they are stay small, soft plastic ones. I think they try to barbecue these things. Keep them on for that. So when I dig up all with my fishing hooks that I've been cracking, they are going to be in here. I got a lot of these. Now it got me thinking last night. Last time I, I went fishing with magnets to try to get old fishing hooks and see what Dad used to do. It got snagging rods and I lost some good names. I'm going to 
on tape or find good tape, put the magnet on this thing and slowly roll in the water because I think when it goes on the rocks, it won't get sunk. And I hope around the birds I can find things. You know, many things when I got my headphones. And yet I don't have no dope. Ah, I make three dogs. Slept with three dogs in the middle of nowhere. Oh, but I want a cheeseburger and then another black muffin. That's five muffins. And I had muffin and coffee because that cheese burrito was the worst thing. I knew it would be the cotton egg thing they use for beating it up. Oh, God. Because I'm going to find the history of this. Oh, Detroit, Michigan, you say? I didn't know they make that with the cars. Everybody knows Detroit, Minnesota have make cars. I didn't know they do fishing. Yes. Ah. It's so wonderful rescuing some, you know, giving one of these. I know they look like bobby pins, but they are not bobby pins. Jig, I think it's a smart jig setup. I, I, I tell you. Now these things are banned in, my, in Canada because of these hooks. They figure, well, if the fish get a tail in the mouth, they have to live with it doing the semi one and it does hurt them when they try to eat unless they come this way to a late age that's where the peens coming from the fish must be that stupid gotta be that stupid like Miss Danny think I was pom pom um you know I should make these pom 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 for my uh, Lego people. They'd be much better looking pom poms my than you know physics. You know, everybody seen those live wildlife documentary. You see, you know, life of the fish. I didn't know caviar is this big. You know, caviar is also in green. Fish are stupid. Sometimes. They also make you wait for hours until they're hungry. Oh. Dragon mine. 30 pounds. 30 pounds? Mm, yeah, I think I could cast a, a fair size semi with this. It's just a swing. I know. And it is better than, thicker than the good old fishing rod. At least I can see this. No, I'm not going to use it for the worst thing FX people use is this stuff. I know. So, this is why yesterday's show was. Delay. Oh, by the way, I found this. Mm-hmm. I found all games. I had to hunt for the games. Take small beds. I don't know if it's work or not. So, yeah, a lot of these. You know, we use no fishing lures. In fun container. I'm going to my thing before I run out to play here. I'm going to on the computer and see what they say, what pins are. Computer. Computer, please tell me what pins are. Don't laugh at me. This is a matter of, I hope these are not eggs for those little creatures. 
Star Trek hate these things. I am kind of in a happy mood. Because I'm home, took a bath, stomach hurts a bit. At least I'm by my insulin. And that's what counts to be a healthy person. Okay, here we go. P R E E M. Preen. Tell me what's preen. Uh, no. I guess I have to say fish. <sighs> no, no. And I survived all that time without the internet. Do you think kids panic? Not me. Team balls? Peace preens in the Mennonite. age. Okay. So Oh, the made in Canada. I, I, by the desert of the Packers, I don't think they come to you today going. I guess I have to write down bait. B A I T. Bait. And what they got? Pine, a pine, a The things, these things are so damn old. Nobody knows what peens are. I think I had one stuck on it. Spoon, the. Come some balls. You know, they could be good pom pom food. Hey, Bobby! Bobby size pom poms. Uh, <clears throat> okay, I, I have to go say pime of baiting. Ooh, I, you know, fish don't give a shit. Oh, make it on. No. No. Put a hot dog on the end. It's pine bait for dredge pond fish. Man, yeah, if I don't say fish in those dread ponds, they probably think they are something dangerous. Okay, folks. I'm going to have to go back to pee. Fish, fish, fish. Peen is actually a sweet oil company. Yeah, um, no, uh, no. Peen is actually being so horny, you, you come in your pants. That's the swine word. No, okay. Folks, I think what I found on this old RDT things that I have to ask an old fisherman about. Because, really. 
at the end, the last laugh is on me. When the bait shop opened next year, I got asked him what he thinks. And office cover by. I'm going to use them for pom poms. God, I spell them like P R E E M. Print. Goobers. You know, little tubers. Tuber eggs. Oh, Star Oh, um. Yeah, I should sell these to Star Wars. Um, fan. You want some tiplets, babies? They call them peens. Don't let them out the bag and let them eat. Baby peens. The terror of James T. Coates can't fight these things because they breathe fast. Fiber pack come green and red and many other colors. And rainbow. Those are gay ones. Well, that's what happened the last 24 hours. Now I have to check it out. Keep the door unlocked when I'm out. But how am I going to get in? Miss Dylan didn't thought of this. So, Chris and my other friend over there, that's what happened this weekend. So please take note. I'm trying to make fun of this. By the way, I need one of each to win something now, officially. Okay, I need some dope tea. Because right now, People have forgot what teens are in the fishing world. Now, I guess I have to go and buy one of the fishing magazines to see what all people say using these things. I may update you if I find an ad for preens in those fishing books yet. Well, that's one thing they don't go spoil like those fake fish eggs you buy, you know? Yes, they eat their own young, especially the male. No, there's one thing they don't go bad. They don't come in a stinky jar you try to open in the middle of nowhere and you don't have your jaw open over with you. And yes, it costs, by the way, the price. Many cents! I don't know if these are even meant for fishing in the first place. I might ask my, my person, Art and, uh, Art and if, ask them if they are really meant for fishing. <sighs> well, the Dan's a little disappointed, but at least I'm home. I need with my insulin. And so next time, if you have a landlady who locked you out because you lost the key and forced to find her and spend half the night finding it, I wish I could sue them. But I can't. I don't want to be on the street because of Miss Bailey. But wait until my social worker on Wednesday get her her neck. I don't bug her on things. I bug her on serious things like lose keys. Yes, you bug her. Bed bugs, I get the government paper. I don't have to have her in, into it. Like I didn't tell her that the bed bugs would be turned. She be screaming. Not the heat thing in here. Bye. No, I don't think Cheating Chan would be nice at the moment. I need some rude men mode jokes. 
I don't know. I'm not even hungry. I had breakfast. I know. I will eat, Mom. Don't worry. Got a couple of bagels. So I will toast those.